Lesson 103, Frustums of Cones and Pyramids. Frustums are very, no, I, I'm not saying it. Frustrating. I will tell you how to find the volume of one. Well, okay, so a frustum, basically, I'll tell you what it is first. If you have like a pyramid or cone and you cut off the top, Parallel to the base, what's left oh, is brush. called the frustum. Yeah, without the point. Without oh. the point. I love these. To I find the volume them. of a frustum, you do one third times the height, and then you take the area of the base, that's the bigger one, like at the bottom, plus, then you do the square root of the product of the area of the two bases. Then you add the area of the base that's at the top where you cut off. So basically, so so basically you take the original base and you cut one the is area of the base, base one. <laughs> B sub two is area of base two, and H, of course, is the height. So we're going to draw a rectangular pyramid that has the base cut off. I mean the tip cut off, that's what I meant to say. Something like that. Okay, so this is a square pyramid. I mean a frustum, square frustum, sorry. That's eight meters. Okay. So to find the volume, we just do one third times eight. The area of the base is eight squared or 64 plus, and the square root, we do the area of the base, which is 64, times the area of the, the other base, which is 16 plus 16. Now when you take the square root of the product, you can find the product of the square root. So this would be 8 times 4 right here, or 32. So we need to do 64 plus 32 plus 16 is 112. So we do 1 third times 8 times 112. We get 298 and 2 thirds meters and well, that would be the volume of that frustum. Now we're going to draw one that is a cone. Frustum. So this is R for radius. This is 15. This radius is 15 centimeters. So the part that was cut off is 20 centimeters, and then the height of the frustum is 30 centimeters. So to find the missing radius, so sometimes I'll do this to you, um, it makes a proportion. So you can do the fraction of the, radi the radii, so 3 over 15, I mean r over 15 equals, and then you do the ratio of the height, it's 20 over 30, no, not 20 over 30, 20 over 50, because it's the whole height, you know, it's the, you have to do the whole height, just like we did the whole radius. So, wait, what are you saying, R is 6, okay. Okay, so then to find, oh, and then I did this brilliant thing here. So you know when you find the area of the base, it's pi r squared. So this would be pi, I'm going to do r squared first on the, the bottom one. So 15 squared times pi for this area. And then the area of the top one is going to be pi r squared. So times pi 6 squared. 
Notice that you have this squared, that squared, and that squared. So the square root of it is just 15 times 6 times pi. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so to find the volume, we're going to do 1 third times the height of the frustum, which is 30, times, and then we do pi r squared, so 225 pi plus, and then we'd have this square root bunch here, so 15 times 6 is 90 pi plus, and then 36 pi. So when we add all this together, we get 351 pi, then we have one third of 30, which is just 10. So the volume is 3,510 pi centimeters cubed. And that's the end of the lesson.